Darn it. <laughs> oh, not so easy, Rory. Not so easy now. Hello and welcome to Tips Tuesday. I'm Terry Pilkadaris. And I'm Rory here. Between us, we've got four Asian tour wins and 20 years experience on tour. We're gonna to be releasing a different how-to video every Tuesday, covering everything from club fitting, long game, rules, and like this video, the short game. In this video, we're gonna break down putting into three easy steps and give you a drill that you can work on at home. Hopefully, once you've watched this video, you'll understand how to putt. Oh, it seems easy sometimes putting, doesn't it, Rory? It is sometimes easy for me. Obviously, putting, it counts as one shot in golf. It's like hitting a 300-yard drive, you got a three-foot putt. Yeah, that's the thing about putting. Um, you don't have to be athletically gifted to putt well. I feel like anyone has a chance to beat anybody in a putting contest. Absolutely. you got your, your 70-year-old gentleman versus a 15-year-old kid. Yeah. You can still have a chance to beat a PGA Tour player in a putting contest. When you look at guys that have won tournaments or players that have won tournaments, they're generally in the top 10 in the putting stats. Exactly. Uh, it, it all comes down to putting. You know, putting is just like free throws and uh, shooting in, in basketball. You've got to make them. So it becomes now, it becomes more of a mental, mental game, doesn't it? So if you're mentally sharp, you feel like you're holding the putts, you're going to hold the putts. Exactly. It's all about instincts and trusting yourself in putting. Step one, posture. You've got to set up to it correctly to hold the putts. What I like to see in the posture is having the correct distance from the ball and the correct height from the ball. Rory's going to demonstrate a couple of problems people get in with the posture. Some people bend over it too much and then people stand up too tall. Okay, so a key ingredient for this one is maintain your posture is to take your right hand off and just put it just above your knee. Where the arms hang down nice and relaxed, and you can stay in a good stable position there. Generally, the eyes are going to be over the ball. Another point I like to mention to the audience is I think a lot of amateurs fall into a, this mistake of getting their right forearm too much on top of the left. Okay, so they, then your forearms are pointing... Now they're pointing left and left shoulders home. are left, and that's why they... You see a lot of that going on. Any? Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes putting is an easy game, Terry. Yes, that's true. But what I like to see with most amateurs is that when they take a video from down the line, you should be able to see your forearms lined up. Uh, and that way, that would correct the path and the face issue. Step two, ball position. Trying to determine the ball position, we've got a couple of easy steps on how to do this. Rory's going to demonstrate what we're going to do here. All right, Terry, I'm going to set up to this ball, and I want you to drop a ball from my left eye. And you see how it hits the ball that I'm addressing to. That indicates that I'm in the correct ball position um, in relation to where I'm standing. OK, so normally what we're doing there, Rory's dropping the ball. We're dropping it from the left eye. And where it lands on the ground is a good position to be. You As you can see from this angle, if I drop the ball from Rory's left eye, it will give you a distance of how far away from the ball he can stand. That is a nice little indication of judging your distance if you're standing too far or too close from the ball. Step three, the stroke. It all counts to this. Once you've set up correctly, you've got your ball position correct. Rory, what do you focus on with your stroke and your putting? Well, any time with putting for me, Terry, it's all about reacting to the putt. And I want to be, I want to put a good pace on it every time. So I want to set up to it, take a look at the hole. And I, I want to flow. That's, that's, all, that's always been my mantra, like, any, like on any golf shot, especially on putting, you want to flow. Yeah, well, that seemed nice. It seemed like a good, good speed back and through. It's yeah. not slow and, and then rushed, and yep. it's not, or you go the opposite, and you go quick back and then decelerate. Exactly. Through. You just want to remain on a nice, positive pace going back and going through, and it should take care of itself. Very easy there. <laughs> got a drill for you on how to putt. 
This is working on your stroke, length of backswing and follow through. These are the key ingredients in holding putts. So Rory, what we're gonna demonstrate here, three tees. First tees on your ball, and then we're gonna measure. We want the same distance back and same distance through. Just use your foot as a reference point. And the general rule here on how to putt is middle tee is where your ball is, your backswing goes to the end tee, follow through, all the way through. What do you normally see with the amateurs, Rory, in, in this instance? Well, I see a lot of amateurs sticking back way too long and stopping at the ball. Mm -hmm. Or you go the other way, you take it back too short, and they just shove it all the way through. Right. So it doesn't create that same even flow that we All right, we're so let's for. have a go. We've got this tee. So we've got a, the, the tees will vary in distance for the length of putt, but obviously we've got about a 10 foot putt here. So as you can see, I was able to have reference point to where the putter should stop and where it should continue to. There we go, so we've got a nice little drill on how to putt. Just to recap, the three steps we're working on with the putting. Posture, ball position and stroke. If you master all these three, you've got a good chance of holding your putt. Just like this guy. This guy, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.